the team had in store for you today? And what does it mean that your teammates went to such lengths to make this day special for you? I, you know, I didn't know uh, what they had planned or anything like that, but uh, it was super special to see all the things that they, they did. I know there was a lot of work um, throughout the organization, through the trainers to, to make this happen. Um, I mean, saw all the patches, you saw all the sweaters, t-shirts, um, nameplates. You know, they didn't, uh, they didn't miss, miss a thing. And then uh, um, and I think the, you got to thank the, the Golden Knights organization for, um, you know, giving the, the family a suite to, to sit in and enjoy the game tonight. And, um, you know, their, their fans um, for all the, the cheering and, and support that they showed tonight. And there was a lot of Sharks fans out there too. So it was uh, very, very humbling and um, very grateful for, for everything that, uh, that happened tonight. Yeah. For the last uh, 24 hours or so, even more emotional than maybe you would have expected. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so many emotions going through, uh, through your head. You, you start talking to people that you have played with in the past and there's tons of stories that come up. Um, yeah, the, the emotional roller coaster it was, it was definitely, it was a definitely a long ride and, um, I'm very, very grateful for and blessed that, uh, you know, that was able to, to do this. And with all the support I've had over my career, it's uh, something uh, I'll never forget. Shang. Congratulations. How meaningful is this for you to break this record in a Sharks uniform? I think it's very meaningful. I think it's huge, um, you know, having played majority of my games here in San Jose and being drafted by them and uh, it's just been a great organization over the years for me and my family and my family's, you know, growing up being part of it. And um, it's, I think it's the right thing uh, that happened was being in a Sharks uniform. And, uh, you know, all this stuff that the, your teammates did for you, um, any uh, item in particular surprise you or touch you the most, you know, the sweater, the pins, the uh, Martin Jones's mask, you know, just anything uh, like that. Uh, not one particularly, but they all did. They all, you know, they all kind of floored me. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure Mikey Aldrich, um, you know, and his training staff had a lot to, a lot of work, to, little extra work to do to, to make this all happen. And, uh, I can't thank them enough for, for all those, the patches, the stickers, you name it. They, there was, uh, they did it and made it extra special. That's again. Curtis. Patrick, even though you guys didn't get the two points, are you proud of how everybody played tonight? I am. I'm, uh, I was able to talk after the game, and I was uh, – what's the right word? I was, I was very yeah, – well, I don't know, floored or, or pleased or what, what the right word is, but I was, I was genuinely thankful that uh, they put in the effort they did tonight. And, um, it was it was super special. I know everybody everybody was trying to give it their all and, and to get the get those two points tonight. And uh, you know you can you can go home and look yourself in the mirror and, and knowing that everybody did that and 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 be okay with with the outcome. Obviously you'd, you'd like the like the two points and the win, but uh, there was uh, no shortage of effort or, or compete out there on our part. What was it like right after the game when you come in there and you see everybody still in their gear and give you a standing ovation like that? Uh, special, super special. I, you don't, I, you don't know what to expect or, but when you see, when you, when guys do things like that and it's just, uh, very, very, I keep using the same words over and over. I'm sorry, but it, it is, uh, it's hum humbling for them to, you know, show the, the respect and, uh, and I'm so grateful that, uh, they were part of it tonight and, um, yeah, it was, it was a really special night and um, you know you don't you don't have these nights without teammates without greater organizations and um, definitely have uh, have those uh, those covered for sure great teammates and, and uh, great organization are you just kind of physically spent right now yeah we'll see probably when I I don't think I'll have too much trouble uh, uh, falling asleep tonight maybe I will I don't know but uh, it, it it was a bit of a roller coaster ride, not knowing what to expect and how things were going to all play out. And 
you know, that there's a game that needs to be played as well. So uh, it was, uh, I'll never forget it. Willie. Hey, Patrick, I uh, came in a little bit after you started, so I apologize if this is, these are repeat questions. But first of all, on the TV broadcast, they had mentioned that you had switched jerseys once or twice. They weren't sure how many times. I'm just curious how many jersey changes you made. I would assume one's going to the hall, one is for you. And if there was a third one, where, where they're going? Yeah, I think there was a total of six, I want to say. So, uh, yeah, that was a, another thing. <laughs> um, you know, Vinny, uh, our trainer, he, uh, he made up a bunch of sticks today for me to, to use. And uh, so we could, you know, pass those out to the, the right people, Hall of Fame and organization the sharks and so he was working it working his tail off today uh making them all up for me so uh, uh i appreciate that and then finally um mark stone and alex tuck had said that they had you know there was a lot of congratulations as you were making your way through the line just you know with the, with the golden knights but at the end there you had a an extra few seconds with mark andre Fleury. if you wouldn't mind maybe sharing if, if that's okay uh, yeah, I think just I was just trying to show my my respect to him. He's had a tremendous career. He's you know he's moving up the the wins column, and uh, you know you can tell a player like like that who loves the game and, and enjoys being out there and is a great teammate. Um, just I just wanted to you know show him the the respect that he he deserves uh, for all his uh, great accomplishments in his career. Great, thank you and congratulations. Andrew. Yeah, Patty, I know, uh, first of all, heartfelt congratulations, uh, really special moment. Uh, but I, I want to ask, I mean, I know that, you know, you, you didn't want a big hoopla, you know, that's not your style, but obviously the team made it and then the league made it too. Just, uh, you know, the, the emotions, the thoughts uh, during the stoppage and obviously um, the message from Gary, the montage and all that. What was running through your mind? How'd you feel? Um, some pretty, um, you know, it was very, very special. I think to to have all that, um, you know, the it was a great speech by by Gary. I, I you know, thank him and and the league. Uh, without the league, you can't play. So, uh, but uh, yeah, it was a very well thought out speech and uh, a lot of uh, kind words in that speech for sure. And, um, very thankful for for him to take the time and to do that and for the golden knights to you know everything that they had to do to to help make this night special is uh i want to thank them paul hey patty uh you've been through enough emotionally here so i'll try to keep this light are you ready for the team to hand out commemorative 900 consecutive game sweatshirts and nameplates on wednesday <laughs> uh I th they've done enough work i think that hopefully they don't they don't uh, have to do any more work for a little while, extra work that is. But uh, yeah, that I mean, tonight's special, special in its own right. And uh, 1,768 games played. That's a little difficult to remember, but 2,000 is a nice round number. Do you think you have three more seasons of teal in you? <laughs> we'll we'll see. But uh, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna enjoy the this moment right now, and uh, I still feel. Body feels good. I feel good, and um, we'll see how see how how long I can uh, stay on this journey. Good to see you laughing. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see the last one here, Marco. You no, know, Patrick. When when this team first started, you know there was a novelty for the first six seven years. Then you know you get drafted and pretty much became you know this, this team's first homegrown superstar. And, you know, the South Bay community really took to you the way, like, Giants fans took to Will Clark or the 49ers fans took to Joe Montana. And now after all this time and passing Gordy Hell, have you had a chance maybe to, like, take this all in and realize the impact you've had with the San Jose fans in the community and just, you know, have, how you've been able to, you know, affect everyone and wanting to play hockey and make San Jose a hockey town? Um, I'm trying to take it all in. Yeah, I think uh... – my obviously my wife uh helps me realize a lot of things that uh that i don't uh come to my own understanding and uh but she's i mean she's been unbelievable and very supportive throughout my whole career and my my whole family but 
and then some friends and around the around the bay area they they uh i mean my phone's been blowing up uh the last three four days and it's all it's all very humbling and as far as the, the bay area and the fans i mean they're the, they're the best i think and to be able to come in and, and be there and, and stay there for so long and, and see how the teams evolve, the organizations evolve, how minor hockey's evolved. It, it is something special and um, I'm proud to be part of it. Thanks again, Patrick. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks for doing this. And thanks everyone. Appreciate it.